Good morning students. I hope you all are familiar with the process of evaporation and condensation. Today I am going to discuss water cycle with you. Before going to start, first you should know that it is a natural process by which we never run out of water. Now open your book on page 91. And first I will discuss term that is water cycle. Continuous circulation of water from earth surface to the atmosphere and then back to the earth surface. Now let's read water cycle. Water cycle is the movement of water between the earth and air by changing from one form to other. Underline word movement and write its meaning and action of moving. The heat of the sun evaporates water from oceans, lakes, rivers and even puddles. Underline word puddles and write its meaning a small pool of muddy water. Plants also give out water vapor. When water evaporates, it rises into the air and cools to form water droplets. Underline word droplets and write its meaning small drops of liquid. Students, water is present on the earth's surface in the form of water bodies like oceans, rivers, seas, etc. It is also present on the surface of leaves. During the daytime, the sun shines in the sky. Due to the heat of sun, water changes into water vapor. During condensation, these water vapor moves higher into the atmosphere and form clouds. Now turn your page and let's read. These water droplets form clouds. As more and more water vapor cools, the water droplets in clouds become so heavy and fall down in the form of rain. In this way, water cycle goes on. Students, when clouds become heavy, they fall down on the earth's surface as rain. And when rain fall occurs, it fills the water bodies like oceans, rivers, seas, etc. Therefore, we never run out of water. Now, let's discuss the importance. Next paragraph, importance of water cycle. We get water through rain and never run out of water due to water cycle. Underline word run out and write its meaning finish. The importance of water cycle is it refills our water bodies and it maintains the level of ground water. Students, look at this activity. You may perform this activity at home. Number one, take two bowls, one small and one large. Place the bowl in the center of the large bowl. After this, pour some water in large bowl. Now, cover large bowl with a polythene sheet and put a weight on top of the polythene sheet in the center and keep it in the sunlight. Now, observe after 3 to 4 hours. Students, you will observe that the small bowl is filled with some water droplets. Children, where has this water come from? Now let's read. The heat of the sun evaporates the water which rises up, condenses on the cool polythene sheet and falls into the small bowl. You have created a model of the water cycle. Students, you should also make a model of the water cycle at 
home. Now let's recall. Water is present in water bodies like pond, lake, river, sea and ocean. Water evaporates to form water vapor. Water vapor cools down during condensation and form clouds. When the clouds become heavy, water comes down as rain. Rain water again reaches the water bodies. Students, tomorrow I will continue with the next topic. Till then, read the chapter and revise terms. Thank you.